you get a set of four in gold tone or silver tone along with the extension chains and I will tell you that it also comes with a jewelry wardrobe. It took the lady in the presence of Robin Wall, who I call our, event, our inventor guest representative, because <laughs> she brings the most brilliant inventions to the network. And now no woman will have to wake up in the morning and scream out, Honey, come hook me up! <laughs> Cause you don't need anybody to hook you up, right, Coming Robin? To hook you up. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. You have well, hooked us you. up. <laughs> I'm hooking you up. That's right. And you get the wardrobe or two. It all started with automatic doors. No need to hold the door for anybody. No need to say thank you. No need to reply. No need to communicate. I mean, look at what I've got against me, Melvin. The moment you try to approach somebody in the hallway, they're blasting endless music on their iPods. People install navigation systems in their cars to avoid from being lost? No. To refrain from kindly asking somebody for directions. There's no need for people anymore. No need. Vending machines offer a self-service. Office supply stores offer self-service copiers. Do-it-yourself hardware stores offer self-checkout machines. Self-checkout machines. Well, sell yourself a shovel, asshole, and dig your own grave. We're garbage. <laughs> People ask you if you have a MySpace before they ask for your name. And if you, if you have a MySpace, then they want your name. used to be when you wanted to talk to a friend, you took that short trip to his house. All you gotta do is, is pick up the cell phone, dial your friend's digits, and tell them you love them once in a while. You know, I love you. That's all you have to say is I love you. That means you love them. But now, wait, wait, why do you even want to waste your breath? You don't even have to do that. All you have to do is text message your friend. It's been done. All you gotta do is Text message him a, a less than sign and, and a three, and, and that formulates a heart, and, and that heart means I love you. So you don't even have to say it anymore. No energy anymore. There's no energy. Love has no energy. And it seems like everybody you need to know is in the palm of your hand. And if you know nobody, that's too bad. What do you think, Melvin? Now that you've graduated in 12th grade, I want to buy you a special gift. Let me guess. More ping pong balls to be exact. No. 5,000 to be exact. It's about 5,000 ping pong balls. <laughs> Dad says, I already bought you ping pong balls. You asked for it. They gave something to you. No, Dad. Hey, man. You're my psych class, huh? Oh, yeah, of course, dude. Take a seat, no, no, man. No, I got no, that's cool, man. Check this out, man. I'm just trying to look in the score some weed, bro. I, I wish I could help you out, dude. I'm really desperate, man. If you could help me out, it'd be really great. I'm telling you, man. Please. I got the study sheet for the psych class. We could just do. No. I'm really sorry. What you gonna do? Time's caught up with you. I'm doing you have well. Hooked us up. <laughs> I'm hooking you up. That's right. And you get the wardrobe or two. Freaking wall hackers, man. You know there's no return. So are you gonna go to the party? You were the guy who was the girl? <laughs> there's no way an archer can take out my mage. Come on, man. You're gonna touch me the answers, right? Now it's killing you. I tried calling her. The bitch won't pick up. First it was the bomb. Okay, okay. I'm sending in infantry units. Vietnam, oh my god, did you get Trisha's text? Disillusioning. 
I'm thanking you. I know, me too. You push the needle in. Yeah, I hate test days. Call you back. You're in oh. my class, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you do the study sheet? No, I got stuck. I had so much to do this week. You have no idea. Uh, you can tell me. I'll, I'll believe it. Can I, can I see the study sheet? Oh, yeah, of course. Thanks. I worked on it all day yesterday. Wow. So, uh, what was Hello? your Hello? Hey, babe. What are you doing? I can, I can give this to you on Saturday. Yeah, Thanks. yeah. Yeah, I'm about to study for a test. So, so I think to myself, why would she approach me? What do I have? She, she's not going to talk to me. Why would she approach me? You know why, Melvin? Because I have something she wants. I have the study sheet. That's why. You, uh, that's the only reason people approach people anymore. When they have something, they can't get from other people they already know. Drugs, money, a ride home, answers, a light to start a cigarette, even promise of popularity. I mean, what do I want people to offer me, Melvin? What do I want? All I want is their company. I just want someone to share my life with, that's it. I want something, Melvin, that you can't offer me. I want feedback. I mean, when I tell a joke, I want people to laugh. When I say something sad, I want people to cry. When I, when I say something stupid, I want people to sigh, like, ah, this guy's an idiot. I mean, any response will do. I, I just want to hear response. I mean, I thought God put us on this earth so that we can work together, so that we could join hands in flesh and blood and work together. There are infinite amounts of galaxies in this universe, and, and which means there are infinite amounts of worlds, which means there are infinite amounts of gods, right? To, to guard those worlds. So, so if they wanted to, they could have given each and every one of us our own world. Well, why didn't they? 